Hello and everyone, welcome to a brand new reading. We are doing June predictions for 2022. I know I have been irregular with the videos due to some of the other issues, but prediction videos are always going to be on time. Um, this all, sorry, this reading we are going to do according to your zodiac sign. So please check out the description box and click the link with your zodiac sign proof. And we are doing, going to do yes, no messages. We are going to do angel guidance. We are also going to find out what will be the message for you this month from your higher self. So please make sure to stay till the end of your file to get a proper, complete reading. And before a further ado, please make sure to like this video and subscribe my channel. And let's get started. to your reading everybody who is a cancer pisces scorpio this is the first time i'm starting a reading with water element because after air it's going to be water element playing on wood this is just a very simple logic i wanted to use for shooting this video but yes let's get started stay till the end because i'm going to share a lot of insights on this reading so make sure you are till the end of this video and if the messages resonate, please make sure to like this video also. Okay, let's start with your reading. The theme for you this June month is Wheel of Fortune. I love it very much. Why? Because Wheel of Fortune is the card of luck. It's the card of balance. It's the card of moving forward. It's the card of letting things go in the past and moving forward in a direction which feels right in a direction which feels complete to you this is a very small insight but wheel of fortune being the theme of this month i personally feel that the month of june is going to be very very significant because a lot of things will start turning in your favor if in the past few months you have been very much annoyed or irritated felt lonely felt like everything is going against you nothing is in your control then june is going to be a very beautiful month for you because things will start falling into line for you and according to what you like more because wheel of fortune is also a card of moving forward it's also a card of following a correct direction in life sorry for the squeaky chair but yes following the direction which you want to go with following the direction which will give you results very very quickly so i think this is the basic theme for you this month uh, numbers if i can give you symbols if i can give you snakes sphinx angels eagles and of course the number 10 are going to be very much of a sign for you in this month maybe 10th of june is going to be very important for you this month Let's find out what's going on in your love life for June. So I have the card Four of Cups and I have the card Ace of Cups. This is so beautiful. Four of Cups is how you start your month of June with probably you're going through a lot of emotional distresses at this time you're going through a lot of discomfort you're going through a lot of imbalance emotionally maybe you're not feeling good with your own people maybe you're not feeling good with how people treat you or how things are going around you whether it is with your friends or family but personally i feel like this is something related to your partner related to your spouse but it can be an overall emotion. This is what I'm saying. Four of Cups is also a card of, you know, not trying to learn from the situation and just holding on to what you're feeling and just having a victimizing mindset. So I feel like this is the time for you to move on. Even if you don't, we have the beautiful Ace of Cups card, which is going to follow on, which is going to come into your life. So if you have a complicated situation if you have a troubling relationship with your partner and you are having a lot of arguments you're having a lot of difficulties bonding with that person then this month there is definitely going to be a new opportunity for you 
to make things okay with that person and also if the, if you have been single then connect with the person you love making things easy and flow very easily into your life without any blockages without any hurdles so that is what i definitely see being emotional comes naturally to you all the water signs so don't worry if you feel like you're very sensitive because that should not be your weakness that has to be your strength right let's find out what's going on in your career the first card is the 6 of pentacles and next is king of cups okay career will be very stable this month i don't see any issues with your career everything is stable and if you are starting a new business if you're looking for a new job you're definitely going to get it that is not even a question and yes there will be a lot of stability in your career this month even if you're starting something new very soon enough you'll reach on a new stable point in this new thing six of pentacles can also tell you that if if you're not in any sort of a financial issue or any sort of a financial trouble this month and make sure you do some sort of a charity because it will come in handy with clearing out your any future karmic balance you were supposed to face face sorry and king of cups is all about having emotional stability in whatever you're doing having comfort having mental peace in your career if you have not been feeling that up till now that is coming in for you so you can wait it out That's very beautiful cards for career by the way with the amount of readings I'm doing for job changes for growth for finances this seems to be like a very very good reading Okay last but not the least we are going to do health and general well-being Let's find out what messages do I have for that The first okay I have two cards so it is knight of wands and two of cups very beautiful card both falling out all together knight of wands is all about being passionate being aware about what you want in life so this is a general message knight of wands can also mean that maybe this month you are going to be a little bit hyperactive so make sure that you control your inner excess energies not energies excess energies which might come out of um overly thinking and over thought actions of previous situations maybe that might resonate for some of you not for all of you and night of wands can also mean that health wise you might face some sort of indigestion issues if you are not balancing your water element a lot so make sure you drink a lot of water and don't let yourself dehydrate because health is also important right they say your body is your first and the last ever home you'll ever will be so make sure that you take care of it all right so this is a very beautiful card family wise uh friends wise things will be very much sorted so you don't need to worry about how things will be with them it's a very beautiful reading overall the only issues i'm seeing is with your relationships and that also might sort out after the 10th of june because the wheel of fortune is definitely going to play a card for you. Okay, next up we have one card from your higher self. What you should specially take in notice for the month of June. Okay, the card I have for Cancer Pisces Scorpio is Page of Swords. This is a very beautiful card. So, one message from your higher self i'm seeing is that you have to be very articulate when you speak don't be very emotional when you speak because sometimes you might say things which you don't want to so this is a sign that when you are whenever you're communicating with your people whenever you're trying to talk with your people be very very articulate be very sure and be as bubbly as good as comfortable you are wherever you go and how people love you for that energy make sure that is something you carry forward in this month let's clarify this whole reading with some oracle cards and at the end of the reading we will do one angel message and a yes no reading okay first let's find out what crystal message do we have for group number 1 cancer pisces scorpio i have the card 
so delight it says speak your truth oh my god this is so much in connection to this card i absolutely love this for you first of all i have a crystal shop so if you want a soda light crystal excuse me <coughs> sorry <laughs> if you want the soda light crystal it is available for with me i will be sending it out charged for you so you can take notice of that and second of all soda light is all about speaking your truth activating your throat chakra working on your throat chakra and not letting any other person overpower you or push you over so soda light is all about being very open about what you feel what you think is true what you think is morally correct ethically correct and that is how you go forward with this whole thing right okay next up we have the mermaid messages my god my liner is all spreading we have the mermaid messages for you Let's check out what message do I have for you? I have the card Go with the flow. I absolutely love this card for you. You know why? Because Cancer is all about water energy and water energy is always regarding to fluidity of comfort of going with what life offers of going with whatever universe wants you to go with so yes go with the flow is one of the major messages for you this month don't pre-plan things don't control things let things come to you naturally is one of the biggest messages that i am seeing right now let's come to my very own deck which is the turn of time deck everybody who is a regular watcher you already know what this deck is about if you are coming to my channel for the first time this is my own very oracle deck it is a universal messages deck for everybody who is a reader as well as a non reader all the other details are in the description box below so you can order it from there <laughs> sorry okay one message i have for cancer pisces scorpio is fortnight so i feel like the first fortnight of cancer uh, sorry of the month of june especially with new moon uh falling on 29th of may first fortnight should fall around 13th or 14th of june and within that time there will be a lot of good progress in your situation however it resonates with you whatever situation you're in so i feel like the first fortnight is going to be really really important for you this month Okay, we are moving towards last oracle deck for today, which is the angel cards. I do an uh, an angel guidance for you for this month. I hope these messages are resonating already, because if they are not, then this is not your pile. Oh wow! I have the card remain positive. very beautiful card it's all about so the light is shining on the head here which means that every thought of you comes from your own mindset so remaining positive will create this white and bright aura around you which will bring whatever you're manifesting as soon as possible so take this angel message into consideration of remaining positive and yes last but not the least we are going to do a yes and no for you in this situation Okay so think of a yes and no question while i'm shuffling take a deep breath ask a question you need answers for don't ask a self sabotaging question Okay yes and no for group number 1 is it is a 50 50 as of now So what you want in this month might come to you next month or the month after that but possibly it will be coming to you in this month towards the end of it probably that is why it is a 50-50 This card can also mean that right now you don't have to take any decisions so make sure that you don't decide on something major this month take your time observe things how they are with you and accept whatever going whatever is going around with you be positive and go with the flow because situations 
will work out in your favor any which how. All right, so that's all what I have for you today. I hope this reading resonated. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram because that is where you can connect with me on DMs. I give free consultations of what kind of services you can claim or what kind of help you can claim in your situation. And lastly, make sure to comment down below and let me know how did this reading feel for you or any other topic you want me to make a video on or do a reading for i would love to do it and of course apart from that please make sure to join my new feeder core community it is a members only arena where you can get a lifetime discount if you are subscribed to the email list and of course you'll get free horoscopes every week along with it so that's all what i have for you today i'll see you next week bye bye <laughs> Hello and welcome to your reading everybody who is an Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, basically a fire sign. This is the June month prediction for you. I'll not take much time. I'll just tell you that by the end of this reading, I'm going to do an angel reading and a yes and no uh, question. So make sure you stay till the end of it to get a complete reading. And let's start your reading with beautiful tarot cards. Let's find out what theme do we have for you this month. The theme of this month for you will be Ace of Swords, very beautiful. Ace of Swords is a card of opportunities, breakthroughs, communications, offers, and of course, new beginnings. So maybe you've been manifesting something very strong and this month it is coming to you without a doubt. This is what I feel. It can be a love situation. It can be a career guide uh, situation. It can be other parts of your life whether it is your friends your family your health anything let's see what's going on in your love situation okay i have the card four of wands a lot of stability and king of pentacles very beautiful cards both cards are about having stable outcome having abundance having celebrations controlling what you have in life and being very very happy and enjoying this very thing so i think that this is very beautiful reading for you it's really 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 beautiful because this is very rare combination this is really rare okay so the love situation tells me that a higher level commitment is coming in for you and a lot of stability maybe your person or you are one of very down to earth people and it is going to clear all the excess negativity around your situation and bring you clarity, bring you that much needed enjoyment which you needed with each other. If you are single, possibly you're going to find a, find a person who is very grounded, who is very down to earth and very simple kind of a life they have. But if you are not single, if you are in a complicated relationship, or a committed relationship where there is a lot of ups and downs then this month is all about getting the much needed stability getting what you really want with this person and moving towards a higher level of commitment if you're already married this means that your marriage will turn out to be even more stronger in this month probably it can be a chance for some of you that you might also conceive so it's going to be a month of good news for you right Let's find out what's going on in your career and finances. I have the card Queen of Cups and I have the card the Moon. Okay. Queen of Cups is the card of being spiritually aligned. It's the card of being very much known to your own intuitive abilities and to your own spirituality, especially when it is showing in the career phase of yours. I feel like the Queen of Cups here shows that Somewhere you know what is going wrong in your career, you're trying to make it right and you're not being able to do it and this month you will get proper opportunities to work on it. It will be very triggering, it will be very um, struggling but you will be able to do it so don't give up because this all of this thing is happening for your betterment, for your soul's betterment because this is the new comfort zone you're supposed to step in. So don't fall into the puddle of struggle. It's very much an illusion you can make through it. This month, make sure you 
work towards what you really want in life rather than just looking at earning money or earning something in the name of title or recognition because if it is not what you really want to do with your life it most probably will give you very short term successes and not long term ones so make sure you take a note of that and last part of the reading is to find out your health and general well being okay i have the card queen of swords okay one more sword and judgment so maybe uh, all of you might have gone cold with your emotions and that is why the ace of swords has come up that you don't need to be cold with your emotions you need to open up you need to break that barrier down you need to let yourself out because the more shying away you're trying to do the more universe is pushing you through it's testing you it's triggering you it's making you come into a lot of confusion so the only way towards clarity is opening yourself up knowing yourself and taking a decision to know what is the best for you what is your soul's growth what will give you that sort of a mental stability or mental peace whatever you're looking for in your life it's not related to love it's not related to career this thing is related to your personality this thing is related to you carrying on past life trauma which is creating a lot of trouble for you as of now all right so let's clarify this reading with some oracle cards i'll start with my own very deck the turn of time deck if you are already a regular watcher you know what this deck does if you are new to my channel this is a universal guidance deck for readers also for non readers very simple to use all the other details are in the description box below so you can also order it please make sure to check it out okay the message for everybody who is a leo uh sagittarius and aries i have the card festivals now festivals here means that there is a, a lot of okay i love this reading first of all because it's it's very much in connection to this card this is as good as this so there is a lot of celebration a lot of merriment that is happening this month okay festivals can also mean that sometime around some sort of a celebration is coming in some sort of a beautiful enjoyment is coming in for you it can be regarding anything in your life also if that does not resonate with you festivals card can also mean that this month if there is any sort of a uh, a gathering that is coming in for you and your family that is going to be a very significant time you're going to enjoy a lot you're going to laugh a lot you're going to be really really happy around this time so make sure that all the social events are something you really go to because they are going to be very very helpful very much taking you forward and very much guiding you towards what you should do next and changing your current state of comfort all right next we have one message from your higher self let's find out what messages do we have from your higher self what you should take note of in this month of june Okay the card i have for you is king of cups we have a queen of cups in your reading and then it comes in as a queen of uh, sorry king of cups king of cups is all about stability in your emotions it's all about making sure that you take control of your emotions but let them flow don't restrain them from coming out don't be very shy about them because your emotions are your power so i don't want you to hide away from them especially with this queen of swords situation there is a queen of cups hidden behind that queen of swords which needs to come out which needs to breathe so make sure you let that happen all right next up we have the crystal message deck okay one message for aries leo sagittarius is black tourmaline protect your energy very much true um with all the triggering situations that are happening around you i feel that black tourmaline is something which can be very very useful to you before i give you the message 
it is available in my crystal shop so make sure to dm me on instagram if you need the black tourmaline crystal i will send it out to you charged for your energy by me special especially for you so make sure to check it out and get in touch with me okay so black tourmaline means protect, protection from all sorts of negative energies all sorts of extra energies that are available around you which is what might be triggering you a lot which is what might be creating a lot of chaos in your life already so i feel like this is something you should really have around you you can put it in your pocket also you can put it and carry it around with you also wear it also especially in form of a bracelet so i feel like um, that too really can be useful apart from that if you are not wanting to use a crystal protecting your energy is very much important especially in your work life right now because there might, if you are in a job there might be a lot of office politics that might be a lot of um not trustworthy situations which might create a lot of chaos in your head and a lot of mess in your life so i think you should protect your energy not let anyone affect you in that way let's find out your moment message for this month so the moment message i have for you is contemplation there is something in your mind which you already thought about a lot now is the time to take action because you've contemplated enough you've thought about it enough and you know what to do how to do it all you need to do is just take a step up and go forward because that is all what is required you are completely prepared you know how to do it what to do it and how to go forward with it so i think this is something you should definitely take into consideration last but not the least i have do an angel message before finding out yes and no to your situation okay one angel guidance for everybody who is leo aries sagittarius is i have the god romance this is so beautiful i feel like this month is going to be very significant in your romantic life in your love life especially with all these celebrations coming in maybe you're going to get engaged or you're going to get married or there is definitely some sort of forward movement coming in in your love life so i feel like this is a very beautiful card it is a card of soulmate connection it is the card of finding your true love your life partner so i think june is going to be a very significant month for you overall and yes last but not the least let's find out your yes and no question sorry let's yes and no answer for this month okay while i shuffle these cards make sure to take a deep breath and speak your question out loud please make sure that you don't ask sabotaging questions which will create more negative energy around you i want you to ask questions which you really need yes and no answer to okay so the yes and no answer for you is it is a yes also card number 6 this is a double confirmation that it is a 100% yes for you right now all the challenges which you are facing you'll be able to cross them you will be able to get the victory over it so i think this is the most perfect reading i've done since the last couple of months and i'm so so happy to do this reading i can feel all that energy gushing through me so yes i'm very happy if this reading resonates please make sure to comment it down below and let me know to claim the reading you can type in the message below i claim the reading for pile number 2 um apart from that please like this video subscribe to my channel as it is a great way of supporting my journey here on youtube you can follow me on instagram at neophilia by harisha because that is my portal where you can connect with me for crystals for uh, personal readings and also just consult with me for free or just talk to me about your situation that would be more than enough for you also i feel um and apart from that please make sure to join my neophilia core community it is my members only arena for lifetime discounts up to 50% on all my services and products and lastly uh when you subscribe to the email list you also can get free horoscopes every week so check out the description box below i'll see you in the next one bye
Hello everyone, welcome to your reading. Everybody who is Aries, sorry, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm a bit confused, but it's okay. I'm human. Okay, uh, I'm going to start your reading right away. But before I start, there is a yes and no for you this month, and also an angel guidance. So make sure you stay till the end of this reading. And if possible, like this video. It will give me a boost for my YouTube channel, and that would be. something i'll be really grateful for all right so the theme for you this month is i have the card knight of pentacles there is something which you want to do there is something which you want to offer either to a person or to somebody really close to you or in work and i don't know why but there is some hes- hesitance towards it I feel like this is something you really really want to go forward with but you feel like you're not prepared to do it you feel like you are not completely okay with this whole situation and that is something which is creating yes no thoughts in your mind okay for your love situation i have the first card page of cups second card i have is seven of pentacles okay I first first finish with the knight of pentacles. Yes, so I feel like there is certain situations that are going in your life which are creating slow motion energy which are creating delay in something you really really want to do. Maybe it is out of your own procrastination, maybe it is out of your own laziness or maybe sometimes you have got a little bit of coward regarding some situations and that is creating that sort of an energy but i really see it in your reading uh next up we have love situation with page of cups and seven of pentacles now page of cups is a card of surprise it is a card of dealing with somebody who is very much opposite to your energy very emotionally connected sorry very much happy about what is going on sorry i have cups Yes. Yes, very much happy with their life. They know how to live life. They are completely connected to themselves emotionally. They wear their heart on their sleeve. They want to do things which sometimes are very new to you and you wouldn't have even imagined those. So I feel like that is the energy of somebody you are dealing with in your romantic situation. And next up we have seven of pentacles maybe you are thinking that how to make things okay with this person how to go forward with this person because that person might seem a lot to you whether it is a crush whether it is somebody you feel very much connected to telepathically whether it is a complicated situation or a relationship this is a very general message so take what resonates and leave the rest yes so with seven of pentacles i feel like that person is having much more higher energy than you and you don't know how to react or you don't know how to deal with it maybe you're analyzing what to do what not to do with that person but i feel like this is something you're really working on or what to work on so i really find that amazing and the person you are connected with on a romantic level in your love life or your crush or your uh, partner or somebody you are very much attached to the page of cups is the card of spreading joy wherever they go so i feel like that person is very much of humorous in nature and wanting to connect with you on a soul level but that is something which is not your forte and that creates a lot of resistance between both of you as well let's find out your work life messages So work life messages for air signs is six of cups very nice and knight of cups wow double cups energy there is a lot of forward movement in your career at this moment you are taking help from your friends and your friends are becoming a big deal for your career which is a very nice deal if you're not connected with your friends for your career right now it is a great time to do it because they have insights which you don't and they'll be take help sorry they will be able to take you 10 steps forward in this situation which you are in right now um another specific message i have for your career is that whatever you are trying to do don't have just one motive behind it make sure you have a personal goal behind your career especially don't only think about your finances because somehow it is depleting you you feel exhausted all the time 
you feel like you don't get your me time and that is keeping you away from everything which feels like life to you so i feel like this is a reading for a specific group of people who are not able to cope up with their job life stress or trying to make ends meet financially because that is where you need help with that is where you need help with somebody you feel like a true friend or a good connection with you and that is something which is very much needed especially through second or third week of june this will become a necessity for you to talk to somebody talk to a close person with you and they will be help, able to guide you very much better all right next up we have health and general well-being let's see what message do we have for that okay the message i have is the tower yes i told you there is a lot of physical exhaustion and the eight of cups okay so i told you there is a lot of physical exhaustion especially when i saw at your job cards when you saw so at your work life cards this particular month can create more stress more disconnect with yourself because whatever you are doing in life whatever goals you might have in life is a part of life it is not life and probably that is where you are going wrong you've started this whole thing on a wrong foot and it is creating physical exertion exhaustion and a lot of i can feel like frustration from your energies and that is coming in uh i also have the card of 8 of cups which means that moving away from something which don't which sorry which doesn't feel right at the moment which is absolutely right because you can start something new which gives you happiness which gives you mental peace right now you might have everything in life but you don't have mental peace because one because of your romantic connection this person is feeling a little bit emotionally distant from you and that is why you're not able to feel okay and secondly because of your work life situation which is creating a heavy toll on your um personal health and well being maybe around with your friends and family also you might be disconnected from everybody you might be just doing your thing it's more like a machine lifestyle which is not you which is not any of the air signs or which is not supposed to be human because if you're not working on your personal benefits you are just depleting yourself of energy and you're just suppressing yourself as small as you could and one fine day it will just burst out into something which can be a physical illness which can be a mental health issue whether it is depression or anxiety or carrying forward some sort of a trauma also so my personal request to you this month is number 1 Please make sure you drink a lot a lot of water because I see that depletion in water element especially and second of all make sure you are very much connected with um the food you eat because that is one of the bases of physical health as well so make sure you eat healthy food another thing which i can see with the tower here is that maybe you can uh, be very much exhausted so having good rest is very important for you don't try to push yourself way too much because right now i can feel that you do not have that sort of an energy all you need is just some people to to be around you which feel like home which feel like family and that is something you should go on with okay next up we have a message from the higher self let's see what message comes out for airy uh, sorry aquarius lip brian chamana i have again the card six of cups so this month is all about connect with the connecting with somebody who is your true life force i feel like you are attached to somebody but you are struggling to connect with them or communicate with them so this card is all about finding that balance finding that help finding that friendship between you two make sure you take this step forward and don't be hesitant enough okay next up we have oracle cards to clarify this reading i have the first deck which is my own turn of time deck i feel like this deck is something which everybody can use if you are new to my channel this is my own oracle deck 
for everybody who is a reader as well as a non-reader other details are in the description make sure to check it out so the message i have for aquarius libra gemini is i have the card manifest your vision okay this makes a lot of sense since right now i feel like whatever i said is true you are not connected to what you are doing in life and that is creating a lot of negative balance in your life i feel so consciously manifesting what you do want to do in life consciously manifesting your health your mental peace is very much important even if you don't do it even if you ignore this message this month or next month you deliberately will have to do it because of the forthcoming energies i am sensing let's clarify with the crystal deck let's find out which crystal has the message for you this month of june okay crystal for air signs is cryophrase it is allow yourself to receive so beautiful i told you allow yourself to receive what life has to offer don't force yourself into something which you are not as a person you are not as a soul you are not as your life goals so this is a really really important message for some of you because i feel like there is a lot of frustrating energies that are building up in you i don't know the vibrations are positive but subconsciously it is a lot of what can we say stress strain and anxiety underlying all of this Okay, let's see what the mermaids have to say about you. I have the card friendship. I cannot emphasize this enough. This month you need to connect with somebody who is really close to you. We have three cards which tell you that your friends are going to be really important this month. Maybe it is about finding that emotional balance very very badly you need in this month. there is something or somebody you need to connect to because that person will be the only person who will be able to help you throughout this month is a very beautiful connection this is why i love doing shuffling on camera and i know the videos become lengthy but this is the magic i want to put out on youtube to for people to see how messages work okay next up we have the angel cards the angel guidance Let's see what angel message I have for you for the month of June. I have the card don't stop. So maybe it is because of the theme for this month. I told you that you're ready, you need to go forward, you need to take action and that is exactly what the angels are telling you. Don't stop. Whatever you want to do, this is something you really really want to pursue. Don't stop right now. because now if you stop you are going to be in a puddle which is not correct sorry so make sure you listen to the angels keep on taking actions do that little thing which is very important to you connect with that friend who is very important to you because that is needed this month. this is angel guidance for you Last but not the least we have the yes no reading for you. Okay, while I shuffle the cards, make sure you think of your yes no question. Take a deep breath, exhale from your mouth and while doing it, recite your question out loud. Don't ask a self sabotaging question. Ask a question which you really really need answer to. Okay. So the yes no for your situation is it is a no for now uh you might come in and check next month maybe this is also a card of karmic balance for you so whatever that is going on in your life is happening because of your past life karma it is your duty to stay strong to come out of it because the worst is over so just take care of yourself and make sure to like this video comment down below get in touch with me if you need any more further help comment in the uh sorry comment in the comment box how was this reading for you 
and claim this reading in the comments as well make sure to connect with me on instagram at neophilia by harisha it is my portal where you can talk to me on dms you can consult me for sorry personal tarot readings and you can buy of any crystal you want in life from me uh, okay that's but not the least please make sure to join me on neophilia core community it is my email list where you can be entitled to around 15% of discounts on all my products and services and of course a free horoscope every week that's all what i have for you today i'll see you in the next one bye bye hello and everyone welcome to your reading everybody who is an earth sign of taurus for okay precorn last but not the least file this reading is for you for the month of june i'll start away right now uh but before i start please make sure to st- stay till the end of this video because we will be doing special angel guidance and yes no for this month if you have any okay starting with your reading let's find out what is the theme for you this month so theme for you this month is the magician i don't know why it's upside down i have the card magician very beautiful card this month is all about manifesting this month is all about being connected to the universe being connected to yourself aligning with yourself so this month is going to be very significant for you in terms of spiritual growth in terms of manifesting something and of course in terms of upgrading your skill set especially when it comes to your career okay let's find out what love situations i have for you so the magician card can also mean that you have all what it takes in life you just have to know how are you go- going to go forward with this whole situation how are you going to maneuver yourself to get what you really want and desire in the coming time magician is also card number 1 so it means that a lot of new beginnings are about to happen for you in your love situation we have the card 4 of pentacles and we have the card 2 of pentacles which is really really in connection to each other maybe you are feeling emotionally distant or emotionally messed up right now that is also a sign of having a closed heart chakra having a blocked heart chakra which is something which happens over time it does not happen because of one situation or one person it it accumulates for a long time and then suddenly you keep on feeling this distant energy from yourself you feel like you are all the time restless and that is the vibe i'm getting from you maybe you recently had a breakup or you've had a very troubling complicated relationship which has hurt you a lot that is what has triggered you into blocking your heart chakra what is most important is you need to prioritize yourself you need to practice self love in this month of june because that is very important with the two of pentacles yes your situation is improving but it will take a lot of energy it will take a lot of thought process and it will take a lot of communication with your partner if you have any any if you don't have a partner you need to let go of all the past traumas you've been holding on to and then you'll be able to attract a new partner or a new energy in your current relationship so acceptance and working on your own healing is more important in this month of june let's find out what is going to happen in your career situation I feel like all of you know what you have to do next but because of certain situations you're not taking that decision to go ahead to make that correct thing work for you you're just scared of fearful of what will happen next and that is why you're not able to balance life along with it this is exactly the message i'm getting right now Okay, let's find out what do we have in your career and finances. I have the card Justice and I have the card 5 of Swords. In your career, you are going through some sort of a struggle or you will go through some sort of a struggle especially with people you are working with, not in terms of money, not in terms of growth, just with the people you are working with. Maybe your colleagues are not trustworthy. 
maybe your colleagues are not that respectful enough for you and you always feel that void that no matter what i do these people are always against me or standing up in opposition of me there might be a lot of politics there might be a lot of ego issues between you and this person which comes out as a name during this reading but the justice card is telling me that things will be fair if you are wrong you will be served if the other person is wrong they will be served and things will balance out itself after 9th or 10th of june so take notice of that for your health and general well being i have the card seven of swords there are too many things you're doing wrong dear and six of swords exactly there are too many things that are going wrong in your situation you need to make those situations correct you need to work on those because from what i am seeing you're just getting taken away with what negatives other people are doing and which is resulting in you taking some sort of a negative step which is not required right seven of swords is about not being truthful to yourself you are i don't know who you are fighting with i don't know what is this mess about but the energy i'm getting is that everything right now is very materialistic for you the universe is asking you to leave all those behind and move forward go forward in your life where you get the necessary transition you need the necessary platform for yourself where you can build a life you desire everything which is ethically correct everything which feels right and everything which brings just positivity in your life so i think that this is very important with the seven of swords and the six of swords um maybe you are an anxious person right now or in the coming time and that anxiety is becoming a lot of um unwanted things in your life right now so make sure that you are connected with yourself and you know who you truly are instead of just playing along the lines with people okay let's see what message i have for you from your higher self i have the message the fool it is time for you to begin something new i already said it with the magician card also again i'm saying it with the fool card because there is going to be a lot of challenges there is going to be a lot of troubles but a new journey awaits you the more you resist it the more difficult it becomes so just try to go ahead with it just try to keep your pace with what life is offering you let's clarify this reading with oracle cards starting with my own deck the turn of time deck make sure to check out the details about this universal messages deck from the description box below you can order it as well the message i have for all the earth signs is winters winters is the time which is, which is uh, going to be very significant for you in this year if not a uh, timeline this card can also mean that you have turned cold when it comes to emotions and that is what you need to work on that is what needs to grow more because being emotionally blocked with this four of pentacles card you need to know that emotions are not which are turning you weak you being cold hearted is so open up open your emotions acknowledge your emotions because your emotions will bring you clarity and nothing else will give you that sort of a clarity so far okay next up we have the crystal message deck so the crystal message i have for group number 4 is citrine bring in the light sorry if that burst in your your ears yes bring in the light citrine is a really really beautiful card citrine is the crystal of abundance by the way maybe you need a lot of career growth maybe you need a lot of success maybe you need a lot of confidence this is about blockages in your solar plexus chakra as well so take that into consideration everything you are doing right now has to be ethically correct as i mentioned it earlier you need to do something which is right you need to do which is intuitively correct and your gut feeling says yes because that is where your true light shines from right okay uh next up we have the mermaid messages deck let's find out what mermaid message i have for group number 4 the card is waiting 
I see that a lot of you might be waiting for something new to happen, especially with this pool energy and the magician energy. You want something new to happen. But the card of waiting can definitely mean that everything you're waiting for will be served to you in its own timing. So don't give up, don't lose hope. Don't give up on your own goals and thoughts and desires because yes, things are working out for you. If you've been waiting for a long time, then probably you're waiting in the wrong direction. So make sure you check your direction of, of how you're working with this whole thing. So waiting in the correct directions will give you definitive results. So make sure you check that out and you clear it with yourself because that is, that is very much required right now. And apart from that, we are going to do an angel guidance for you this month of June. So the angel guidance for group number four is... It's a yes. You do not even have to wait for a yes, no card. The angels themselves are telling you a yes. Whatever thing that was going on in your mind while I was shuffling these cards, the universe, the angels are giving a full-blown yes to you. I will clarify this with my yes, no reading as well. So quickly, let's move towards my yes and no. While I'm shuffling these cards, take a deep breath and ask a proper question you need answer to. Don't ask a self-sabotaging question. Okay, the answer for you this month is yes. This is a double confirmation. Everything is aligning for you. Whatever you are asking to the universe is coming to you. Just make sure you're looking towards in the right direction. Just make sure you are facing the right direction for it to come to you. And otherwise, it's just going to be a little bit chaotic, but it will come to you later. But for this to happen quickly, this month is going to be very significant. This month is definitely going to bring you positive thoughts. Uh, and positive growth and of course a very very good new beginning and I think that this is a wonderful uh, way to end this reading with I absolutely love this reading if this reading resonated please make sure to type yes in the comment box and like this video and subscribe to my channel as it is a great way of supporting my journey here on YouTube you can follow me on Instagram at Neophilia by Harisha it is my Instagram portal where you can DM me to talk to me, to consult with me regarding crystals, for tarot, for any sort of remedies you require for your situation. Whew. And last but not the least, please make sure to check out my Neophilia Core community. It is my members only email list which you can subscribe to get messages uh, in horoscopes every week and of course a permanent discount on all my products and services. I hope that resonates with you. And I hope that clicks with you. So make sure to check out the description box below. And if you need any particular reading or a topic you want me to make a video on, comment that as well. I would love to do the reading. And yes, of course, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.